Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. This is part 11 of this Miles Morales playthrough and I believe this is the last mission. I could be completely wrong because I have no idea if this is it but last time I tried to go uh, the Prowler, is that his name? I think. Uh, stopped, stopped me from uh, going there so now this episode I'm probably going to be fighting unless the guy stops me again. Um, and for some reason, like the last couple episodes that I've made, the like the uh, my microphone has been like ear rape. So hopefully this time is a lot better. I've had to like actually edit the videos in order to not like you know, make y'all deaf. So yep, this playthrough I think is coming to an end. We're at 90, 69% through. Yeah, 69% through with the game. So I believe this is the last mission, and then I'm just gonna either live stream or just show me just collecting all these other uh like capsules and stuff so uh yeah i will meet y'all the end of the episode I, i'm really excited for this next mission uh the build up is so crazy but yeah i will see y'all at the end of the episode so peace Getting, getting. 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 Keep your head up, Spider Kid. You see him close renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's got to be inside. Hope I can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. Finn's ran the city for years. See us the time.
Hey, Gio, how's it look? Hey. Hey, someone check on Gio. He's not responding. I'll check around. security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks, which are locked and powered down. I need a new power source, like that giant spinning mobile. won't reach. Bet I could web the nodes to the mobile. Conduct electricity. Just need the webs to reach. This is gonna work. You two have to share. Drain some generators and get past the underground's barrier. Did 
That's one. Feeling good. I need to finish training the generators. Working. A couple more. I saw one more. Can't believe how well this is working. Oh, sweet. Time to break down the ground's toys. Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. this. You and me. She's got to be with our project. Down that hall. our project Welcome while we're still session. young or tomorrow's innovation is today's reality i'm coming i'm coming hey where'd they put us i've got the museum map on my phone our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor can't wait to see our names on the little sign like real scientists today the oscorp science center tomorrow every major museum in the world Algae farms are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of... I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. Since the mid-20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday... You might see the brightly striped clownfish. I'm naming or that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. You and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. 
This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What? You scared? Of sharks? The dark? Tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today's suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Let's go to the main hall. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars. It's like our a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Using a shape memory alloy or memory metal, Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out! Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. Check it out! You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler... They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. I wish we'd have museums like this where I grew up. We had to drive two hours to see something like that. Ooh, we got a play. Oh, come on. It's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Oh, faster! Come on, rocket buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Gotcha! Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. This Oscorp rover, adapted from models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals. Stands for minerals, resources. carries people the across Oscorp toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> Solar energy, already popular on Earth, could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial settlements. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells can be. Go on, take a sticker. Ooh, shiny. Did you ever move the shiny? Space? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. I would. Chance to start over. Or get into a galactic battle with aliens. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. 
The flashlights on our phones would work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. We need something reflective. And something we can slide under the door, but still move around. Oh, look! Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. Take one! Now we need something we can slide under the door. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. Overload our central power. Not if we integrate the information This is either genius or really, really stupid. If we open our own research lab someday, that's. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. Project awaits. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it! Our project's in the back! Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. The Oscorp Science Station, positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient-enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics, could make farming what in space What if they can grow flowers in space? They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16... 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. Congratulations. Thanks. There's a six-month training program. I can't wait to get started. Our project. Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? Genuine award-winning scientists. 
No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles! I am not saying that. Finn, you need to know. I'm done listening to you. I had to tell her what happened to the reactor. Please, just like you. Don't let her fall on the tinkler! Shelter. Get to Dale's bodega. I'll be there soon. We'll keep everyone safe as long as we can. You gotta take care of them before I hit that parlor. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
way to get to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. Genki, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Bad. Rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. There was about a dozen people. But, but... You're breaking up? Where are you? Genki? If you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please! 